Awesome. Uh, my question is um, for the for the man of the hour. Um, do you and as well as everybody else in there, um, do y'all believe math was invented or created? Usually, it, it's posed as: uh, Did human beings create mathematics, or did they discover mathematics? Is is that the question? Yeah. It's just, it's just it's just the question of, of of do you think that humans invented math or was was math just always uh, from the beginning of the universe was it always it's a terribly you know, was it always difficult the, question because um, they're they're fairly fairly interesting philosophical arguments but my commitment would be to say it's obviously this is not a human invention it has no properties like a human so invention. God created it I didn't say that Ooh, we get it. <laughs> I didn't say it. But the point is we have a, a very difficult problem talking about mathematics because these are objects that are obviously not physical. The number one is not a physical object, neither is the number seven. And um, they don't seem to be in time in quite the way we want objects of contemplation to be in time. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to say, well, the number three came into existence in 1932. <laughs> it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You can say that. There are philosophers who will say anything. But they do not elicit a whole lot of respect by that kind of declaration. Well, if it didn't come into existence at any particular time, does that mean that they're eternal in some sense? Well, yeah, I think, I think it does. Although I can't tell you what being eternal means since... There's a conflict between the view of a mathematician and the view of a physicist. A physicist will say space and time arose, space and time arose with the creation of the universe at the Big Bang. Before the Big Bang, on one theory of cosmology, there was nothing, and not even the laws of mathematics. That's a view I find personally repugnant and intellectually unaccommodating, but there it is. Some people be believe that. But as far as the invention of mathematics goes, I don't know of anyone who studied mathematics seriously who thinks this stuff was all made up.